Hi, Dave Smith with Police One. I'm here at the Armisite booth with Carl Erickson talking about some of the new stuff this year. Night technology is one of those things that I've seen in my lifetime just change and evolve so remarkably. And you've used it tactically in a, in, yeah. in a, in a, in a theater of war, so you're really up uh, on all this stuff. Talk about what's new this year. Um, night vision might look the same. I've been using this stuff 20, 25 years. But the new thing this year is the new uh, white phosphor ghost technology new from Armasite. What is, you look at it, instead of seeing green through the night vision, now you're seeing white and shades of gray. Uh, available in handheld monoculars, goggles, flip down sights, uh, dedicated weapon mounted sights, and also the clip-ons. Now, the, the advantages of it now are that, yes, during the day, your eye is more sensitive to shades of green. However, at night, Mother Nature has programmed us o over millions of years to see different shades of mood light. So when you, you look through a basically shades of gray uh, ghost night sight from Armor Sight, it allows you to, to uh, see much, much clearly. You're picking up the different shades better, the details. Everything just seems to jump out at you, and you get much less eye fatigue. Yeah, that's now, critical because sometimes you're on an extended, you're, you know, whether it's a narcotics operation, you know, a surveillance, that type of thing. And I know from experience, you can fatigue, but also, how about resilience-wise? How, how resilient is this technology? Uh, very, very tough stuff. Very, very tough. Uh, Gen 2, a white phosphor technology, has been out for a couple of years, but this is the first year that uh, Armorsight or anyone has released the Gen 3 uh, white phosphor technology. The Gen 2 is called uh, Armorsight Quicksilver. The Gen 3 is called Armorsight Ghost. Now, it's, it's, like I said, it's available in the handhelds, weapon, uh, weapon mounted, and also the clip-on, great, great technology. All right, Carl, now what are we talking about here? Uh, Armor Sight's uh, releasing two new lines of sights, uh, digital night vision and thermal night vision. They, ran, they run all the way from a uh, simple handheld to a dedicated weapon mount. Uh, weapon mounted sight, different magnifications, all the way up to sights that would clip on the front of like a day optic on a sniper rifle, something like that. When you think, uh, we'll talk about digital first, when you think digital night vision, the advantages of it is you're looking roughly Gen 2, Gen 3, but now you also have the capability to remote record it and also remote view. So uh, from a law enforcement standpoint, now they, back in the Tactical Information Center, the Operations Center, they can observe exactly what that observation team, that sniper team is watching on target. Can be done wirelessly, can be recorded with this, uh, simply mounts to the side. You can do Wi-Fi, send it, or run it by a hard line. Another feature that I like about just that alone is from a training aspect, now the trainer, that senior sniper, that guy doing the marksmanship training, can actually see what the student is watching. And you can see exactly what kind of problems he's having, stance, breathing, what not, not a good position. Great, great capability. All right, that's the digital. Line looks roughly the same, same capabilities, but for thermal. Now, all the way across the spectrum from the, your lower price units for the, your uh, agencies don't, don't have big budgets, all the way up to your top of the uh, top of the line tier one units that's got the max uh, budget. You can get a thermal site, giving you, your unit the uh, most capability, most bang for the buck. Now, one of the things that, again, when you're talking about this, this capability, I can do real time surveillance, I can do real time operations, I can monitor my team, I can operate, whether it's, again, whether it's narcotics, whether it's a special assignment, say you've got a, you know, a special surveillance situation, a high crime issue, or again, a tactical operation. I can, I can have real time command and control of my people, which traditionally at night has been very Can't difficult do. to do. And we used to have a separate site for doing uh, recorded to use for like, um, you know, evidence well, in a court of law. Situation change, you all of a sudden have to switch to a shooting situation. You don't have to get from your observation to your weapon system. You're already there, your sniper's already on the gun, and he's ready to interdict right. when necessary. And, and besides litigation, your debriefings are more effective. You got, that, you got the game film to go and review your actions. So like you said, from a training standpoint, that's much more dramatic, more effective mm -hmm. than just 
just notes. You know, when I can actually see what we really did out there. Exactly. And that makes that debriefing powerful. Now, with your military background, of course, you can see law enforcement has very similar issues. And I guess this is kind of the thing where military gets it first, then we get it second. But these things, that one of the things that you're talking about is, is I maybe I'm a big time agency or maybe like you said I'm a regional SWAT team you can cover all the prices for that right they sure can armor site has all the way from I think again very high quality but uh, low price and then you build up your quality from there it's all in what your agency has budget wise excellent and it's kind of, it's kind of stuff that holds up because your job is to go out and make sure it is resilient there you tough. Go. You know, go out and try to break it that's called engineering, gang. So for more information, where would I go to find out more? Armorsite.com. Great. Well, thank you, Carl. And everybody, give them, check it out. Armorsite.com. Thank you, sir. Pleasure.